Hi everyone and welcome to a new tutorial in Fusion 360. Here we are on the episode 59 on the modeling V12 engine. So let's make the heat exchanger one because there are two of them. Let's start with putting the new component here. Let's isolate it and create a new sketch. But before that, make sure that you show the origin to see which origin you choose. So we start from the top. And as you can see in the Z direction, I will make just this form. Add some dimension to it, as you can see here. Once you finish, let's put this one in the middle. So I will select this one and this point, and all thing is fully constrained. So let's make a fillet here with 25. For this one, the same thing. As you can see here, I will add a dimension here before we lost the center point when I add the fillet. So finish your sketch and go to construct to add um, a plan in, in the point. As you can see here, you have just to select the good one, so I will cancel it, it's not the good one, so I will choose here the plan along the path or plan, plan along path, as you can see here. So that's the path and click OK and you have your plan on the path. Start a new sketch on the new plan and create a circle with 50 on the diameter. Then I will use a feature to make like, like a pipe or you have pipe if you want to use it on Fusion. So I'm using the the standard version to make this pipe. So I will select this plan and start sketching on the center of the pipe. So I will use here a circle to make circle the first circle here and add some dimension as you can see, you have to make them horizontal and press D to add dimension between the center and the circle. So go to solid and make sure the operation is the join here and the distance make 30. Then I will select this surface and add a center rectangle from here. 
then add some dimension. I will use a sketch fillet here, but make sure that your um, dimension is not gone. But if it was, you have just to add some dimension to your sketch. Once you finish sketching, go to Extrude and select all of this zone and sketch it and excuse me and extrude it. But it's not in the good direction. I will edit the feature like that. You can here change the direction or just put this arrow in the other side but make sure that it's the join, um, not um, a cut material. As you can see, you finished this first step. Let's go ahead and make the hole here. I will add another hole here. Now I will select all these features from this bar, okay, and go to pattern, or you can go to here for the pattern. For the axis, you can choose the Z axis and change here the number of the quantity the distance minus 90 and I think it's okay like that and all thing is all right I will add some fillet here And go to shell. I select from here the surface you have to, um, to delete. I will put two for the thickness. As you can see, when you select all these surfaces, it will be deleted. As you can see here, 
you did the pipe you will use it like um, exchanger and that's all for today thanks for watching and see you in the next episode have a good day or a good night